This is video seven in a series about this greenhouse build incorporating this shipping container. In the last video, we talked about the roof structure. And so now we have to do some of the trim around it, some of the details, and uh, take advantage of some of the good weather, and maybe do some landscaping, and talk about how I opened up this shipping container to the greenhouse. Had to make some pretty odd shapes to go around these bends and the windows and the fans. It's pretty interesting. This intake fan I bought used, it was just a, a whole house fan, and I decided to put a cover around it so uh, when it snowed or blowed, it didn't blow anything into the greenhouse. Okay. This being a greenhouse, it's gonna be really wet, of course. So these edges where I cut this are gonna need a little tension. I wanna make sure that they'll hold the paint so they won't rust. I have to grind these edges just to, just to make sure that there's no loose burrs or anything that would catch rust and wouldn't hold the paint. And then we've got these smoke marks up here and all this loose paint. So I'm going to uh, use the grinder and a, and a sanding wheel after I get these flattened out um, to take that extra paint off. Now that I've got that all ground down and cleaned up, I'm gonna go ahead and weld this angle iron in here. All it's gonna do is give us a finished look on the inside. Then when we put the metal on the outside, it'll hang down just a little bit. On the west end of the greenhouse, it worked really good to use the panels I cut out of the shipping container for the retaining wall. I have to order three yards of concrete to get a truck to come out. So instead of trying to do some slab work, doing the footings and then doing the blocks and come back out and fill the, the columns, what I'm going to do is is go ahead and just use gravel in the bottom of this for the footings and set the blocks on there and then turn uh, some of the blocks sideways so I have 16 inches that'll give it a little more tilt support and then over each one of those I'll have a column where I can pour concrete in so I'll have that truck come out with the three yards we'll use it probably about maybe three quarters of a yard in this wall uh, for those uh, columns and then we'll put a bond beam across the top to hold it together with some steel in it. I have some slab work to do inside of the greenhouse so I can do all that once for three, three and a quarter yards. So that'll save my back and save my hands and, and save some labor. Alright, let's get started. After all the blocks were laid, I hand poured the steps and used some plastic to create a textured finish. So that really worked well to use those center blocks for the retaining wall. And as you can see behind me, the cover crops are working really well. They're growing well and the soil is being built. And that about wraps it up for video number seven. In the next video, we're gonna talk about the planter boxes and get into hanging some doors and things like that. And if you haven't subscribed, please do that. Leave a comment, ask a question, share, hit the like button. All right, till the next time.